Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Ghost Suburb 2. Previously, after paying the utility bills, our main character got into a fight with Gertrude, and during the scuffle, she was launched into some kind of secret room, where our adventure continues. Looks like this is a bit of a maze. Entrance over there, and there's an item over here. Oh yeah, this is definitely a maze. We'll check this place out first. I should probably also heal. Oh no, that's a key panel, not a healer. Okay. So we got both a maze and we got a key puzzle of some kind. And we have a bar. We are very nice lures for someone who wants nothing but sorrow and pain. Glad to see someone else made it down here. What is this place? It's a secret bunker. Only residential and essential personnel gets a briefing on its existence. Whenever a biohazard or imminent attack situation happens, I get the codes to open several emergency exits down here. Then I reseal her up and bam, we're good. For a while, at least. Fortunately, my building is straight on top of this place. Unfortunately, it is really close to the hospital where these military goons fucked us over and killed people. This company fucking sucks. You're telling me. I'm done with this place after this. Mr. Operation made down here, too. Guess this job is shot. I think I'll find a normal hospital next time. What kind of hospital were we working at? Apparently, we did a lot of government grant work to fund and cover up some sort of weird research. I don't really know. But with this recent outburst of attacks and crazies, I guess it was something super intense. When we signed up for this thing, did we get like a little ID tag with a big umbrella on it, maybe? Hey, I'm Dr. Norton. I think I saw you at the cafe earlier. I'm here to cure viruses, but not very well. I was there. Yeah. I'll do you a favor. A little ways on, there is a keypad. There is a security passcode you need. What is it? Not so fast. You see, I have a good feeling I won't live through this. So, I want you to kill me. Um... No? What the fuck? Why not? With a lead-in like that, you should have jumped. Anyways... That is the only way to go forward. So whenever you rethink it, come on back. I heard him. Here's that vodka shot. So I guess some NPC want vodka, and I was supposed to talk to them first, whatever. I never knew about this place. I got wheeled down here by a nice male nurse earlier. These people came out of nowhere and just started killing people. It's kind of nice, you know, how you guys all came down here, locked yourself up safely, and, you know, forgot about me. I was at the cafe before they closed the doors, so I got to escape. Some of the others weren't so lucky. At least you're somewhat pleasant. With the way things are going, I think I might want to give drugs a second thought. Not on your life. We've got shit to do. So pushy today. You are freaking everywhere, you know that? I just follow the money. And besides, the fact you lay waste to all that threatens you seems to help. It seems that Modus cleanup crew is here to tidy up this latest disaster. Who? The Modius Recovery Forces. This is technically their development zone. 
and who wants a competitor gaining a heads up on all their recent foul-ups and tomfuckery? I guess rival companies and governments. So they're going to kill us and level this place. Practically, yes. It makes sense, at least. Alright. I'll do it, if you want. It's stupid, but I'll do it. Thank you. So much. So, how do you want to go? Grab a vial of poison from the very back of the storage room to the north, and then a drink from the cook. Mix it and bring it to me. It'll be just enough to kill me in about an hour. Enough time to think. Any specifics on what drink you want? Mix it with a shot of vodka. This must be the bathrooms. Yeah. And there was a mistress surgery in here. Got some nice showers, too. But for some reason, one of these only has a urinal. I do not know why the men's shower only has a urinal. Assumingly, they think men do not have to, you know, use a toilet at all. But I guess it's how it is in this world. Modius security systems keep out of the secure area. What's a secure area doing down here? I have a bad feeling about this locked door. Should we say something? We don't know what's in it, so why bother? Poison. Why bother stocking poison here? Just gotta wait it out now. Be patient. Because now I am the patient. Alright, we're clear. We should probably grab the random items first. And then we'll come back for that door. 532. See you in hell. Cool. This looks like it goes all the way around. I think it does anyway. There was some items left up there I still want to get. Yeah, it did go all the way around. Okay. So that means this is the right one to go right here. Health? Yes. I believe I came through an area like this last time. What the hell was that? We'll find out. Go. Police woman Mary. Yep, they left me to dry. The rest of the squad is chilling with the other nurses and doctors inside. What happened out here? Everything aside from the main hospital area was leveled in missile strike just now. Unfucking believable. Why don't you go inside? Whatever. Just go off and let me get killed by all the bizarre pieces of crap here. Fine. Whatever. It seems all of you people have learned your social skills from Squall.
This must be the infamous Modius Recovery Forces. It looks like they haven't gotten inside yet. How are we supposed to get in? They look armed to the teeth. You are trying to get me fucking killed. Fine. All bits are off. Do you know what this place really researches? Not really. Other than freaky monsters. Aptitudes. Special abilities you get from your essence as a person. Their application and usage. A meager force such as this is nothing to us. Attack them. What the... No! Fuck that! If you want in that hospital, if you want this shit over with as much as I do, you will do what I fucking say. Okay, lost control of her limbs. Now. What the fuck? No one should be alive out here. Shoot them! Eliminate them. You've been given executive privileges to do anything you wish. All personnel and patients are now deemed... non-persons. Does that mean we can just kidnap them? You are now allowed to extract, but for now, anything goes. Alright boys, load your drink bullets. We're going to have some fun with these so-called non-persons. That... that didn't look like a... elite soldier. Fuck. What are these people good for? I'll just take you down myself. Midland Recovery Forces Agent. A bizarre form corrupted with years of training. Physical has no effect, has weakened the psychology. Rage card. Well, we handled those soldiers, even though they didn't really look like him. There's more over there. Right. Oh, now these look like actual soldiers. Yeah, these are the foot soldiers right here. Bloodstream. At least Gertrude's finally catching up and being useful now in levels. Alright, we can't get down there. It's like I'll just have to handle you. As I was saying, uh, the commander guys look a lot like giant head crabs, essentially, or the big mama. Don't kill me. I'll open this gate for you. But we already have a gate to open. Uh, don't! Please! Gertrude, fuck! Stop already! You can't even hold this gun right. Fine. Okay, this one's life is in your hands. Remember, he represents the forces trying to take everything away from you. I don't know if this is a big decision or not. I guess I'll make a backup save just in case. Now, how hard was that? Listen to me, and everything goes fine. There was something seriously fucked up there. More than usual. Oh? And cutting through all those mutated patients so mercilessly wasn't. Snap out of it! You are so ignorant of yourself. 
and who you are and even what the hell you are doing. Now, vamos, this is our opening. Let's see where I'm going here. I guess I'm just going inside. Is that a dancing skeleton up there? All the dead. It seemed more dramatic if they were weren't just represented by crosses. I'm back in my room. Horrific thoughts. Confused thoughts. Some sort of autopilot function for the kind of confusion that breaks you. OK felt her body numb and her thoughts go into hibernation. She would have brought her hands up to pray if she knew there was someone listening to her. Other than the cold eye which pushed her forward and deeper into this hole, she was falling into very fast and not looking forward to the unpleasant. This is not the time now. Your explorations need to be directed elsewhere. So we fell through a hole, huh? Mr. Mapper? The looping room bug. Ah. Here was safe just in case. Really a hospital. I mean, the one I worked at. I don't remember any of this, to be honest. A very good question, and I can't answer that yet, for certain, until our objective is met. What is our objective? Find sleep, and do what you want to do. I dislike your tone, but more to the point, we're here to find sleep. Everything, absolutely everything, is because of her. Let's go further in. It will be different than you remember, and very dangerous. You should thank your lucky stars that Hypher Amanda Panda lived. Her wares should prove helpful. I think this is how the hospital looked like originally. Check this out real quick. You don't look like a normal doctor. Even the pharaohs of the ancient hills knew that the sun was a disc I could set to play on repeat. But discs never last forever. I'm under attack by a giant nurses. Well, those guys weren't too bad. They just relied on status effects. And they gave us a low amount of XP. I'm gonna find out there's a big cache of money in here. And that I could have used it to buy the crystallized hat. More spooky, scary skeletons. Waving goodbye to past forms and present worries. This place had a museum or something built into it? That's the main route. Amazing, we're watching water.
transform from body to light. Counter rates are atrocious in here. Gas mask nurse. The mind is not only the filter that connects us to reality, but in some cases it works in reversal. The mind wants to drink some coffee. The mind makes it happen. It changes reality. Thus, when the precedent for alteration aptitudes became set by many of the primordial samples, which is in this case, it was obvious further. Huh. A funny you mentioned witches when not too long ago I was talking about the Magookas. A more expansive control of matter could be achieved by more extraordinary samples with more powerful aptitudes. This seems like a foreign language, but I guess in a strange way it makes sense. I don't know what is everyone's problem. They're just flipping out like something is a matter they just can't deal with. Are they infected? We're all infected. Infected with the curse known as mankind. Gertrude's still not max level. In the darkness, breathing is breaking the silence. Who's there? It, it's Dr. Zoidberg. That's gotta be the doctor she liked or something. Let's see if fatal implication does it does damage for once. Nope. Wasn't too bad. Expander card. Who is that? The body sadly crumpled in lost life, and suddenly Gertrude is giggling. Gertrude. <laughs> You have no idea the pleasure of the hunt in which I take this day. Let us continue and leave this sad husk to its unquestionably deserving grave. The name on its tag says, Dr. Leeds.
some of the other nurses are acting really weird, so you may just want to annihilate everyone. Except me. We're cool, right? I guess so. Just don't stab me. Before you go through there, okay? I think you may want to think some things over. There are some things in this world that we can't change. Looking left when we should have looked right and had a chance to avoid an oncoming vehicle. Leaving with a goodbye instead of an insult. Food for thought. Ah. Uh. This is our final place. We shall finally end our plights. How? Is that sleep? Yes. All you have to do is press the button on. Suddenly, Gertrude's eyeball started to have a seizure. What the fuck? The eyeball then dropped to the ground. It rose again and talked in a monotone voice, low and melancholic. Proceed to the tank, okay. There is much to do. Uh, all right? Proceed. What's going on? I am sleep. I'm in stasis after an accident here. I will be clear. I do not like you, but we have similar goals. Why don't you like me? You could have prevented this. The entirety. It's not all your fault, but you helped. Ice would have still been placed here. Locked in a prison of chemically induced comas and being painfully played with. But you can pierce the veil here. You'll go as Myra's representative. Where? There is a place not connected to this zone, where they dwell and constantly corrode and destroy this place. If I had been allowed to. Never mind. I've taken over Gertrude's familiar. It will not leave you for the duration of its use. What the... Familiar? You've forgotten so much, and you'll soon remember more than you want to. When you are ready, talk to me again. Prepare for the long ride to nowhere. Oh, great. Oh, Gertrude changed to sleep. Tags are the same. So this time it actually did turn into a literal bomb. God dang it. And my brain fell out and I went somewhere else as my eyes rolled into my head. Thank you. 
Well, legs with no torso basically was chill. The apple pretty much wanted me to commit sin, and the triangle is a bro. Most likely because he has a smiley face. I figured that was a door over there. I guess not, so I wasn't too far off in my diary page order.
Well, Gertrude was the green-haired nurse. We haven't seen hours two yet. Thank you. 
This triangle doesn't want to talk to me. Neither does this man. That was odd. Very odd. So, we've solved the mystery of Ghost Suburb 2. Ancient Aliens. That explains all the triangles everywhere. Mr. Mapper. What game-breaking bug occurred in here? Looks like some kind of final area. Yeah. Gertrude. Even if you crawl on the floor, kiss my feet and beg for servitude, I won't forgive you. You were with me this whole time. Why now? What is the point of this, right now? Manipulation, you let us slut. You have all the status effects in the world on you right now. You're so much as lucky if you even get to think. Let's see if fatal implications actually work for once. Nope. Creep do. Hmm. Was that really it? I can't think of a better way for you all to go than for you all to kill yourselves. It's just so satisfying. Did you sabotage me? I'll spell it out. 
I fucked you and that lousy husband of mine over big time. And deservingly, I might add. There are many well-known cases of people with powerful alteration aptitudes splitting off into different forms and corrupting home buildings with their own wills. I just helped sleep along, and I am going to resolve it so I can live my life. Without having to see you running around like a dipshit and ruining everyone else's happy marriage and career. What? You're wrong. I just wanted to get somewhere too. I wanted to be happy too. And look where it got you. Without warning, a knife was driven painfully into the abdomen of OK, and she fell on the floor, bleeding out like a stuck pig. Now to tie up the other loose ends. And that's how I finally rested. Wait. Fuck. I'm awake still. But where? now. I feel so clammy. Almost too cold to move. Gertrude. Sleep is still with me. Well, I need to give you this now. What is this? The Mothman said it would help you out, and I've been trying to find you so I could deliver it. So, is this it? I am a little lost. But I can tell you something. There's not really a great way to end this type of situation. It's just going to happen. Well, I'll take your word for it. One day it'll happen to us all. One day even me. But I guess it's not for a while. How are you so brave? I'm resigned to it. Everything I've ever wanted is gone. What's the point of staying in that place? I knew someone else that said that too. He was really nice, but just took the worst way out, I think. It was nice talking to you before this all came to a close, so... Seriously. You too. One day we'll meet again, I hope. I think this is the character from another game. Or something like that. And those are walls. I guess these are walls. It's like the world's fully collapsed now. No sense of logic to it whatsoever. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is... Reality itself has completely distorted. In a way that we couldn't imagine. I thought I finished you off. Your work was always kind of shoddy. Besides, didn't you think this through? We're in a projection. You can't kill me unless they want me dead. We do. We'd rather have a much more amusing ending, though. Wait a minute. What the? Gertrude's body becomes painfully ripped to pieces with needles exploding from within her. How fitting. She thought she was manipulating us. But we made her help you all along. What are you going to do with me? Do you want to have a new life? Do you want new flesh? Are you going to help me? You stole ours? So now, we're stealing yours. Your... What?
a never sleeping corrupt of the physical world, and a never sleeping lying form which meets leads many into the jaws of death. It seems the corruption of the warp was the cause of this all along. damage from that. Fail implications, finally do something, find out tomorrow. No, it does absolutely nothing. One down, you're next. Doesn't do anything to you either. I guess that was that. They failed. Or did they? I don't know. I'm so confused my heart hurts to beat. I'm waking up to something. Something painful. It's Gertrude. She's still alive. If she wasn't such a bitch, I'd be happy to see her. No one deserves this. I remember a lot more now. I remember what happened after I went to sleep in my room one day. Gertrude tried to choke me several days beforehand, about a week ago. I got away that time, but I had a choice, to let her do it and avoid everything that happened, all the death and destruction to come, or to let it all pour on everyone, melting them like hot acid and searing my brain with guilt so unbearable I snapped. Oftentimes, a practitioner working in operations has to assess the likelihood of whether an operation is even worth the risk to undertake. For example, is a painful operation worth the prospect of another year of life for the person? I guess at that time, I had to make a call. I'll make it now. Suddenly, someone I recognize. What the f- And she suddenly lost her voice, and a piece of her brain, too. It was a piercing report. And then someone I don't remember. Ma'am, are you okay? I'm a part of the Modius Recovery Forces. We're here to extract all living personnel to a safer location. Wait, do I recognize you? Can you respond? Hello? So much has happened so far. You are now all so far away, but I... 
I'm still. I am still awake. And that's it for Ghost Suburb 2. So we got our big endgame info dump that pretty much kind of explained everything, although there's some really vague symbolic things going on there. I don't know how much you need to know from the previous games, or any other of uh, MOGA's games. Because I know May is from the previous Ghost Suburb, Ghost Suburb 0, and I don't believe Ghost Suburb 1 exists in the public yet, so... In the end, we had some hospital, we had three characters, primarily, which were the cause of the events. The Doctor, his wife Gertrude, and OK. They were working on projects and stunning people who can affect their environment. They're called witches, and they are actually a bit like the witches from Madoka. Sleep was one of these, an extremely powerful one, I assume. And OK slept with the Doctor, assuming that if she can get on this project, it'd be like a big advancement in her life. This caused tension with Gertrude, and with some of the mistakes and failings of the project, caused the whole events of the game. That's why Sleep Course says, you could have prevented this, and that is basically by letting Gertrude kill you. And if Gertrude killed you, then you wouldn't have to worry about all these events happening, because there would be no motivation for her to kind of set forth the things, because you'd be, well, dead. There's some more hammer-like chaos infection themes there with the narcolepsy and insomnia and the veil and whatnot really don't know how that ties into everything although i think it's partially symbolism because you've killed insomnia and narcolepsy and that could be kind of symbolism for how you've solved the problem therefore killing the source of your sleep issues although in the end if you survive then you see okay still has problems and she's still awake as she says because obviously the events are going to be quite dramatic anyway thank you all for watching me play ghost suburb 2 i'll see you guys later take it easy